Well hello and welcome back. It's been a couple of days now, I've been really busy at home and doing stuff for work. Um, but I'm finished off preparing and <coughs> putting the primer coat on. So now what I'm going to do is spray the top uh, with the matte black, uh, ready for some airbrushing later. Um, I haven't masked off the sides and the back because obviously I've not put any colour on those yet. Um, so it doesn't matter if I go over the edges on this bit um, and I'd prefer not to put any sticky from the masking tape and what have you around the sides and what have you at the moment so I'm going to do the front with the matte black let that cure off um, and then I might do the back before starting to airbrush the front or I might just go ahead airbrush the front then mask all of that off completely before I do the sides and the back uh, haven't decided on that one yet um, I've already put a colour coat on the neck which I think I may have done something slightly out of uh, out of order shall I say um, because thinking about it now I'll just show you um, what I've done is I've masked off you probably see if I get it in the light a little bit better uh, it's nice and nice blue uh, the back will be the same um, but what I've done is I've given this a coat already then realised I haven't done taking the frets out put new frets in sanded the fretboard all that kind of stuff which obviously this is going to need to be lead flat um, which may well mark or dent what I've already done here so I'm not going to take this any further at the moment I'm going to do the frets and the fretboard first then I'll go back see what I've done to the back um, and if it's okay it might need a sanding down um, or it may need completely reworking again but I don't want to take it any further than it is now in case that has to happen I don't want to waste any more time um, but lesson learnt first time of doing it so lesson learnt no for the next one um, anyway I've already shaken the can ready for this so I'll give it another little shake and then we'll get on with spraying it matte black so on with the mask Here we go. Well, that didn't take very long. Um, I can already see some orange peeling going on, uh, but that's perfectly natural and normal. This needs to uh, fast, um, well, cure off a little bit before I put another coat on. Um, don't want to get any drips and runs or anything like that. So I'm going to let this go for a while. Um, I've not got too much overspray on the sides by the looks of it, which is great. That'll help in the next stage. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with that, how that's gone on. It's changed the look of the guitar already. Um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really happy with this. Um, I'm not going to waffle on much more. Uh, you'll all be pleased to hear. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the videos so far. Um, whether I can do anything different. Whether I can prove things. Um, let me know if you like them. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and press the like button every little bit helps on that score um, if you'd like to see me do something different then please put it in the comments below and uh, I'll see if I can accommodate thanks very much see you in a while okay so uh, we're back it's nice and dry uh, you can probably see an obvious difference in a moment this 
ladies fishnet, fishnet type. Um, going to be using this basically like a like a stencil really. Um, spray over the top and then where all the, the tight is itself um, shouldn't be getting any spray on it. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to come out with a bit of a, a snake skin effect. Um, we can only try. Um, fingers crossed it comes out. We've got the airbrush set up. Um, not really used it for this kind of thing before but I'm giving it a go. Um, I'm starting off with about 30 pounds of pressure um, just to fire out the, uh, the paint a little bit better. Um, whether that's right or wrong I've got absolutely no idea. But it's going to give it a go. I've tried it on a bit of a test board and it seems to be okay. Um, there isn't any splatter. Um, if you've done this kind of thing before and you know a better setting then please please let me know. Um, I'm, I'm always looking at trying to improve what I'm doing. Um, but let's give it a go.
obviously doing this technique uses <coughs> excuse me uses a lot more paint than <coughs> I would normally use um, it's thinned down quite well uh, looking at the color on the camera is a lot different from what I'm seeing here um, I can see it's a lot more black than it's coming out on the, the camera lens that I can see um, maybe I need to move around a little bit for my own eyes just to have a look um, <coughs> Yeah, it's not looking too bad. Uh, still not as blue as I can see on the camera. Um, but I'm, I want to do other bits and pieces inside of it anyway. So um, clean the airbrush out, put another colour in, and we'll go from there. See you in a moment. Okay, so next colour's in the pot. We'll give it a go. me mix up a little bit more <coughs> start again put my teeth in um, just need to mix mix up a little bit more of the yellow um, I'm not too happy with how that's going on at the moment um, the guns not seeming to want to play ball with me so I'll need to set that up properly before I carry on really um, find out what the problem is what the issue is
Okay, well, not too sure what happened there, but uh, looks like the camera may have run out of space on the card. Um, it's going okay at the moment. Um, quite like the way it's looking at the moment. Uh, we're going to change colour over and uh, carry on with what we're doing.
Okay, that's looking quite um, similar to where I'm, I'm wanting it. Got a few more things to do. Um, got to go around the edges again <coughs> with the blue, bring that up a bit more from what I can see. Um, but it's getting somewhere close to what I'm thinking of. Uh, whether it will turn out how I want it to or not is another thing. But um, we're getting there. It's all a learning curve. So I'm going to change colours yet again, clean out the brush and uh, see you in a moment. Yeah, we're getting some changes now, so I need to change colours over yet again, and uh, we'll keep on going. I'll uh, let you. I'll zoom in so you can see what it actually looks like at the moment. Yeah, I'm quite um, pleased with how's that, how that's coming out at the moment. So we'll uh, carry on, we'll put some more blue around the edge and uh, we'll go from there. Sorry for that little uh, interruption. And somebody knock on the garage. <laughs> they know where I am.
Oh, I quite like that as it stands there now so <coughs> I'm uh, probably gonna leave that one a little bit dark what's up there let's just sort that bit out Yeah, that's better. Um, I'm probably going to leave that where it is now. Um, I'm quite happy with, the, with how it looks. So we're going to obviously let this dry down now before I can take the, uh, the stencil off. Or shall I say the fish nets off. Um, and then we'll have a look to see what it looks like. Let's uh, speed the spot drying time up a little bit. We're nearly there. Okay, so this is the uh, guitar body now with the stocking off. Um, quite like the look of this now. It's got a really nice finish to it. It's just going to need a nice coat of some lacquer. I've got some polyurethane lacquer for that one, so you'll be able to see me do all of that. And then how I get a deep shine on it. It's, uh, looking really nice it's almost like a 3d effect so I'm really really pleased with how this has turned out like I said never done this before so you can see how I can do it never doing it before so what's stopping you go out get yourself a guitar body cheap one and give it a go if nothing else I've enjoyed doing it even if it comes out and sounds rubbish. But um, I'm really enjoying doing this. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.